You know, I realized there's a connection I've never made. This channel really got started on May 12th of 2015, and it's only now that I'm realizing it's fitting that it was on the 12th. But as per usual, we are back here at our Bear Barrel on Red Feather Falls to just kind of sit and talk about the last year and the last eight years as a whole. Now, as also per usual, we've got bears right here close, and I am incapable of speaking and concentrating on making a shot, so we will just go ahead and take that guy. And, you know, I thought of this and that there was the potential for this to happen in this hunt. Just the difference in the Hunter Classic since we first started doing these videos is shocking to really think about. Never could we have used the snake bite and had that bear not spook, so... We might even get to shoot a couple of things as we get going, but hopefully now that we don't have to worry about immediately spooking things, we can get into this video and everything that it's going to encompass. And as I said, we're going to talk about the last year, and this past year was amazing. There were so many things that went on, and as per usual, many of them, if not all of them, are directly because of you guys. And obviously the biggest news, if you didn't know, I got engaged uh, this past Christmas, and I think I talked about it in maybe the last, you know, the seven year on YouTube video. To begin with, I met my fiance on YouTube because I was live streaming. She showed up in a chat and it's just, it's crazy to think a day where I decided to shoot a non-typical whitetail in classic and start making YouTube videos led to that. It's just being 17 years old, just wanting to share cool kills in the Hunter Classic, I never would have dreamed that that's where it would have led to. And in the previous year and in the previous several years, I've gotten to meet so many incredible people in this community. And, you know, just this past year, obviously, Kyla getting engaged to her, I got to meet Bottom Boy in the previous years and got to hunt with him a couple of times now in West Virginia. I got to shoot my first bow buck on film down there in West Virginia with him. That was probably one of my favorite hunting memories ever it was just really really cool obviously that video is out if you guys want to uh watch that as well it was probably my favorite hunting video i've ever done maybe outside of the big buck i shot in late 2021 i also got to meet aaron i got to hunt with him in tennessee and here in pa for rabbits that was really cool uh the tennessee video is yet to come we got the rabbit hunt out it was it was just neat to get to meet people that I've been talking to on Discord and stuff for four, five, six years. Also, Psycho Beagle, he's basically my neighbor. He lives, like, within 20 minutes of here. And he became a Discord moderator, I think, before I knew that. But he was a part of that rabbit hunt. We've been doing a good bit of fly fishing together. He's basically... I talk about fly fishing in live streams and stuff all the time. He's basically the reason I know anything about fly fishing. He's taught me, you know, how to fly fish, and it's been a ton of fun to get to learn that. And just, you know, getting to meet people who are like-minded in the sense that everyone in this community, for the most part, plays one of these hunting games. Not everyone, which is actually kind of cool that there's members that are just viewers of the games and think they're cool. But most in the community do play the games, but there's also a lot who are interested in the outdoors, whether it's hunting or fishing or, you know, camping, hiking, all those types of activities. So it's been a, a combination of all those things. And speaking of like-minded people, you guys may or may not know, I finally got to meet TK. I was, I went back in our Discord DMs because I was like, how long has it been since I've known him? And I think it was October 20th of 2017 was our first Discord message. And I'm quite confident that on the Hunter forums here for the Hunter Classic, we even chatted before that. So that was at the ATA show. I got to meet some of you guys at the ATA show. And I think that was probably the highlight of my 2023 so far. That was middle of January. It was just really, really neat to get to, you know, meet viewers and call the wild players and all that. We got to take pictures together. Like the whole thing was just really cool. And it to, to circle back to what I said at the beginning, being like 17, making videos in the Hunter Classic, like, hey, here's a, a piebald feral hog was one particular video, or here's a non-typical mule deer. Simple stuff like that, this led to, you know, so much more. And again, it's so much because of you guys who watch the channel, support the channel, whether it's individual games, all the games, the live streams, 
all that sort of stuff. And I just really appreciate it because otherwise I wouldn't get to do all these cool things. I wouldn't know all the people who I've referenced. And there's many more who I've left out that I, I didn't get to, uh, you know, meet yet that hopefully will get to happen. But just, again, a huge thank you to all of you guys who have supported this channel over the years and who continue to support it eight years in, which is nuts. I, you know, at some stage, the number starts to be like, wow, now I'm just getting old. Because at the beginning, I remember making the one year on YouTube video, and on one hand, it was like, wow, you know, it's been a year, still doing this, but it felt like some of the creators that I watched here on YouTube, who had been doing it for three, four, five years, that it was just like, you know, my little one year achievement wasn't that big a deal. And I think it was probably around the time we hit five years, it was like, okay, this has become quite a thing. And now the, the larger the number gets, the more it's just like a realization of, it's been a third of my life basically that I've been doing YouTube. And it's it's been such an incredible journey. And I remember going all the way back to the one year on YouTube video, calling it a YouTube journey. And it really has been, it's, it's funny to think about the journey, like physically, going all these different places, meeting everybody, whether it's going hunting in Tennessee, going to visit Kyla's family in Georgia, going hunting in, uh, we went to West Virginia, obviously, going to the ATA show in Indianapolis, like quite literally going all over the place. But also, and I'm 25 now, It's it's been a journey through life as well. And it's, it's really, really, I guess fun and, and interesting to reflect on that and how it's it, it all stemmed from just wanting to share kills in the hunter classic and that's why whether we're doing you know classic content twice a week as we are now usually one video and one stream whether it's classic content for every video as it was back in the day or whatever it becomes that's why this video the insert number of years on youtube video will always be in the Hunter Classic and probably will always be in this tree stand because at this stage, it's just tradition, but it's a, a recognition of where everything has come from in this game and why it all started and an appreciation for it. It's, it's incredible that it's still going. I mean, Classic is 14 years old, just insane. And speaking of games now, we have a new game on the channel, Way the Hunter. It's been now almost a year, nine months, since Way the Hunter, since we first got to make content on that, I think it was August 12th or thereabouts. 12th, again, go figure. But it's been really cool to see that embraced, not only by like this community here around this channel, but by like the hunting game and hunting simulation game community as a whole. Like, it, it's just been really neat to watch Way the Hunter become what it has. And I really love that game too. It's, it's cool that the three main games we play, the Hunter Classic, the Hunter Call of the Wild, and Way the Hunter. And you could throw like Call of the Wild, the Angler, and other stuff that we've played here and there and there, but those three are the ones that we do the most consistently and have done the most content on. They're varied enough, there's different enough games that they don't step on each other's toes. They're all such unique experiences. And that allows for kind of playing that many different games and being able to not get burnt out. That's a common question, like, you know, how do I not get burnt out on Call of the Wild? Because that's the game that, for the most part, we play the most, and definitely the game that we make the most content on. And it's because of these games, the Hunter Classic and Way the Hunter, that maybe we don't make as much content on, but it's the change of pace from Call of the Wild that really allows that to happen. So it's been really cool to see that be embraced by the community. I think that's awesome. I hope that can continue. They actually just had, I think, yesterday, they just announced an update coming with some more rares for Aurora Shores, so that's cool. Looking forward to getting to check them out. And also Farming Sim. I haven't gotten to stream Farming Sim. Hopefully I can this weekend, but I haven't gotten to in over a month just to due to everything going on, whether it was Easter, getting sick, uh, going down to Georgia to visit Kyla's family, all that stuff kind of slowed down our Farming Sim content, but those streams have been so much fun, and I just, A, appreciate all you guys coming out to the streams, hanging out, talking in chat, because that's really what makes the streams for me. I like to play the games themselves during the stream. I mean, that's always fun, but it's the interaction with you guys. And I was thinking that too. A video like this, that, that's not entirely uncut, but 
is more or less just a, a single take of everything. I used to do more of this. You guys may remember, if you've been around the channel for six, seven years, I used to do videos called Uncut Hunts. And they were usually something like this. They were bear barrel hunts because there was some level of requirement to constantly have animals coming in. And bear barrels or feeder hunts of some kind were the best way to guarantee that we were going to consistently at least have animals on screen so it wouldn't get boring. And the reason I did videos like that and like this was that I couldn't live stream. I didn't have the internet capacity at my parents' house with the internet there to actually stream. I mean, the upload speed was... It was so bad. It's it's funny now. I'll edit a video that's coming out, say, in four hours, and it's it's uploaded and good to go. I remember 9, 10, 11 hour uploads all the time back then. But, I wanted to just get an opportunity to A, show a little bit of personality, I guess, and just speak in a longer format, but also kind of engage in some more conversational type stuff. So now we get to live stream and I get to have those interactions with you guys. And that's what I love about Twitch. Often I'm asked as well, like, why do I stream on Twitch and YouTube? YouTube streams are always higher viewer counts. Normally something like twice to three times as many as are in Twitch. And that's awesome. YouTube streams, I almost treat as like a, a q and It's questions about Call of the Wild, about Way the Hunter, how does this work, how does that work, you know, what's going on in real life, how turkey season going, which we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, all that sort of stuff. Twitch is a lot of times more conversational. I just think that's cool. I think it's it's cool to get to literally real time live interact with you guys versus back in the day, it was just this. It was talk about literally all the things and then through the comments had those interactions. But that's them from Farming Sim and, and uh, you know, it's just cool that it doesn't have to be a hunting game to to get to hang out with you guys and have a good time and I mean we're still going here with classic twice a week I did want to mention as well I do have a beginner's guide in the works hopefully that'll be within the next couple of weeks I mentioned earlier classics 14 years old and it's it's still going strong it's still they're getting you know things added to the game and all that and I just want to while the game is still going and, and as I see more people checking out the game and getting into the community I want to create a beginner's guide so people can get to enjoy the same game that I have for all these years and hopefully enjoy it to the same level. And it's just been fun. Like, it's, it's as enjoyable as ever to create content for this channel, whether it's streams, whether it's videos, whether it's the Hunter Classic or Call of the Wild, Way the Hunter, other games. I've just enjoyed it. I've been experimenting a bit with editing stuff. I would say mostly in Call of the Wild the Angler. But also a bit like in the way the Hunter Trophy Lodge Tour stuff, just adding other music, trying different things. Because that's what it's all about. Not to, to rehash the entire, like, college thing, because that happens in almost every one of these uh, YouTube anniversary videos, I guess, to call them that. But when I was in college, before I dropped out, I was going for computer science. And through high school, taking computer science courses, the reason I loved it was the creative side of it. There was always like making something, you know, programming the computer to do whatever task it was. And usually it was a lengthy process and it would have a lot of trial and error and stuff. But the final product, it was always so cool to see. And that's kind of how I view YouTube. It's, you know, at the beginning of a hunt, right? Whether it's Call of the Wild, Classic, Way the Hunter, what have you. Start out fresh. It's a, it's a new clean slate. And by the end, it's formed into a 10, 15, 20, 25 minute hunt where my goal is to take the viewer on like a, a short adventure through the game. And what's cool is I get to do that literally every day and not to rehash it again, but it's because of you guys. I mean, I could sit here and do that, but if it weren't for you guys watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, being engaged and interacting in the community I'd just be talking into a microphone and that would be it probably said that in every one of these videos as well but it's so true like I think maybe something that's not talked about as much when it comes to you know making content whether it's YouTube or Twitch or whatever is that there's an understanding that getting to do what we do is 
completely because of you guys getting to, you know, wake up every day and walk to the computer and, you know, make a video or do a live stream or both. The reason we get to do it is entirely because of the support you guys show. And I think there's also an understanding that the whole thing's very fragile. There could come a day for whatever reason that no one wants to click on our thumbnails anymore, click on our videos anymore, and why ever that may be. But I guess my point is that it's not lost on me that you guys support and, you know, showing up to every live stream, every video, commenting on every video, because I know some of you guys do that. And it's, it means so much more to me than I, than I probably let on, because I'm really big about, I know th this is almost going to sound backwards, but I don't like to ask for likes or ask for subscribers or any, any of that stuff, because that's not who I am. Like, if you want to like the video, cool. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe to watch more content, that's all I can ever hope for. But I don't want to... I don't want to ask you guys to do it. I want it to be because you guys want to do it. And I know now that I'm saying it, it's almost going to sound like I am asking for it, but there's only one way to describe what I'm, what I'm getting at. And... I just really appreciate that you guys have shown so much support over the years and continue to do so to this day. And, you know, I'm always trying to improve content, whether it is the editing experiments like I'm talking about. I think one thing I want to do is maybe start to add some more music and stuff into the songs. Like, we have, I don't know, 10 or 12 that we typically go through for the videos. I want to add to that list just so it's... A little more fresh every time. Maybe, maybe certain songs will will fit a particular, you know, event in the game or whatever better. That kind of stuff. I've actually started filming in 4K for my IRL hunts, and I mentioned I was gonna talk about Turkey Season a little bit. I won't tell the entire story again because I've done so on streams a couple of times. So if you want to find it, uh, feel free to stop by one of the streams and ask. I'll retell it. But basically, I caught myself in 4K managing to not make a kill shot on a turkey so <laughs> that's unfortunate hopefully I can get redemption on that but there will be some 4k hunting videos coming soon and I'm really excited for that just any type of improvement whether it's in thumbnails or editing or, or filming in 4k like a equipment upgrade it's so exciting and, and it breathes new life into this stuff as non-repetitive as it may be and that's the other thing that's cool in games that are based in randomness even though it's the same game and it may be the same maps the same weapons the same target species every day it's always a unique experience because of the fact that you just don't know what's as i always say over the next hill around the next corner you just don't know what you might encounter and that's the allure of these games and the allure of coming out and just making a video and just see what happens get the live reaction on film all that stuff I just really enjoy that side of things. But I think, as we've now shot quite a number of things, we have one black bear to track. We're probably going to go ahead and start cleaning up here as we move towards the end of this video. And I also... This is the first year, I think, in now the eighth year of doing this, that I didn't talk about numbers specifically. Normally, towards the beginning of the video, I would talk about you know, last year the subscriber number was this, now it's, you know, in increased to this amount, all that stuff. And I made a conscious effort in this video not to talk about that, because to me it's got less and less important where the numbers are and all that. It's the interactions in live streams and through the comments and in Discord and all that stuff that I value so much more than, you know, what does the subscriber number say today? And I hope that can continue that those numbers are there and hopefully they always increase because that means on some level I'm doing my job correctly and people want to continue watching the videos but I just want it to be a part of something that's I guess what I should say is a small part of something that's much bigger and much more important so to kind of bring this video to a close as I think we have just that bear to track plus these two uh, animals here I like to try to give a little bit of like inspiration or or something like that to wrap these videos up and 
it's probably going to be similar to things I've said in the past. These videos tend to just be like that because they sort of elicit the same emotions and responses. Should we go after that buck? I guess we can. But in looking back on eight years of doing YouTube and, and it getting to this point now where, you know, we get to play all these different games, live streams, film real life hunts and bring you guys along on those adventures, which I'm, I'm so excited for, for 4K filming and where that can lead. Hopefully that just makes the experience from camera to viewer that much more real, make it feel like you're there in the stand, there on the ground beside, because I think that's what I really want to go for. And uh, not to talk about the real life stuff too much, but that's why I love just, even if I'm not shooting a deer in that video, I love just like capturing the footage of the animal and sharing it with you guys because one of my favorite things to do is storytelling. I'm sure if you guys watch the live streams, you're very aware of that. And in a lot of ways, making every individual video is telling a story. And it kind of, you know, gets into that same area. But I just think looking back on the whole thing and, and where it's led to now, that if there's something that you're passionate about, something that you really want to go for, and you're just not sure how to go about it, or when to go about it, or if you should, in my opinion, you should give it a try. If it's something you're truly passionate about, because you have to be in it for the right reasons. Uh, doing something because it has the potential to make a lot of money, I mean, if you're passionate about having money, or if you're passionate about, you know, something that money can then lead to, then absolutely, I think that's something worth pursuing as well but I think having passion behind anything can push you through what is probably inevitable some of the the tougher times at the beginning it's it's always tough to take a risk to jump into something unknown but if it's something you really want in life I say you gotta go for it now I'm definitely aware that I, I was quite fortunate in the way that I was able to go for YouTube. I basically got started while I was still living at my parents, and I had just a part-time job and, and very few, you know, bills that I had to pay monthly. So just that part-time job that I had was enough to get me by as I was trying to make YouTube into a thing. And... I guess that's what it comes down to. There's always going to be sacrifices of some kind, whether it's sacrificing time or money or, you know, fun. Sometimes maybe you don't get to go and party with your friends all the time because you're working on this new thing that you really want to do or whatever the, the sacrifice may be. There's going to be those things. But, again, if it's something that you really want to achieve, if you have the passion, I say go for it and see where it leads you. That's that's effectively like what I did with YouTube. And I truly believe this when I say it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I know how that sounds. I know that... So, phew, smoke that rock. I know that if someone you maybe don't know, but someone that you look up to or someone that you watch all the time on YouTube, they can say something like that. Because, trust me, there, there's the exact same sentiment in other creators that I watch and it it may be like yeah okay you can say that but you're you I promise like I am as normal regular <laughs> not exactly overachiever that exists out there and I mean you're watching this so I guess I guess something went right in making a YouTube channel and getting to this point so I really just think that's so important trying to make of life what you want to make because it's short it really is and I think that's basically where I'd like to leave this video so unfortunately the black tail kind of stopped us from finding our black bear so we will briefly do that that was the one that we shot that was kind of walking and I just didn't want to let it walk too far away so one thing we didn't drop man if this only happened on regular hunts at least we know he's not all that big. This video probably is going to have more editing than any of 
the milestone videos in the past, but that just kind of is what it is. It'll make it unique anyway. But we found our bear. We found some more elk, which I guess we'll go ahead and take one of those while we're here and kind of move this video towards a close. So as always, as I've said in every one of these videos, just thank you to all of you that have watched any amount of content on this channel, whether this is your first video you've ever seen on this channel, whether, whether you've watched all 2,200 and whatever it is, I just went and looked and it says 2.2k videos. Just thank you for being supportive and making this channel and this community into what it is. Because again, I could not be here doing this. I wouldn't be here right now making this video if it wasn't for you guys. So just thank you again. Thank you for quite literally making my dreams come true. This is my dream job and it stems to the creative thing. It stems to getting to make something new every day, starting from a clean slate and making it into something. And I just, I really do appreciate everything that you guys have done for me on every single level. So I think it's cool. Eight years, we're coming up on 10. I do have some plans to do some, some pretty cool stuff for 10 years. We have a little time till we get to that point, but I... I mentioned it feels like I'm just getting old a little bit. That's the one I'm looking forward to after that. It's just going to really start to feel like I'm getting old. But as far as barrel hunts go and as far as YouTube anniversary videos go, that may have been the best hunt we've ever had. Didn't kill anything big. I thought of that at the beginning of this video too. I don't think we've ever killed anything big in one of these videos. Not that I can recall. So run of the mill in terms of size, but shot a lot of stuff it was consistently interesting as far as animals and stuff go and as i said way back in the day before i could ever live stream and just made long form videos talking about every topic i could so we could then discuss in the comments that was the entire point but on that note i think that's gonna do it for this video so as always thank you guys for watching thank you again for all the support over the years again whether you're new to the channel or been here for the entirety of the eight years i really appreciate it and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.